This is an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar on the color tools inside Final Cut Pro 10. Hi, my name is Larry Jordan. In this excerpt, I'll show you how to use the hue saturation curves to change the color of something inside the frame. Another thing we can do is what's called a hue saturation adjustment. Hue saturation allows us to make secondary corrections to the picture. I don't want to adjust the shading of the entire picture. I just want to change the color of her top. Now this is not Danielle's fault. It's because I forgot to check the costume chart before I did recording that day and she was supposed to be in a blue top and she wore pink instead. Clearly my fault for not paying attention. So how do I fix it? Again, select the clip. It starts with everything. Select something and do something to it. And we're going to go to a correction section called Hue Saturation Curves. This allows me to find a hue, change it to a different hue. Find a hue, change its saturation. Find a hue, change its luminance. Let me show you how this works. Click the eyedropper tool and let's sample the pink of her top. It selects the color right here and then it adds an adjustment here and here which brackets where my adjustments are. I'm not going to change the whole line. I'm going to change from this, like feathering, from the left side to the right. As I pull this down, the top changes color. But I really don't want green. It should have been blue, so I'll push it up and find a nice, a nice, nice blue. That's a nice one right there. Now I'm getting a little bit of pink fringing. I can adjust that by pulling this over just a bit to pick up more of the color so I don't have quite that same pink. I can adjust the feathering between. But the blue is a little bit saturated. Let's select this eyedropper again, click on the blue, and pull this down. I'll take all the saturation away, or I'll oversaturate it. I want to have it be a little less saturated. It's changing, it sensed the pink, but it's changing the blue. As I pull this down further, again, we'll change the luma. It's a little bit too bright. Click here, and we'll make it a little bit darker. Right about there. And we went from a nice pink outfit, and because this affects video, her top changes color and luminance and saturation. It's a very dramatic scene. I'd show it to you, but there may be young children watching in the audience, except we're getting a color shift in her lipstick as well. This is terrible. I don't want her lips to change color, just her top. So select the clip and go to this icon right here, and we'll add a shape mask. A shape mask allows me to restrict the key, sorry, restrict the effect to a portion of the frame. I want to restrict it so it only affects her top. And this is feathering. I don't need it to feather very much. Just need to have her. Except, I lost the color of her top. Her lips are colored, but the top is, is just backwards. So we go back to the effect and say, invert the mask. And now, her face is back to normal, and her top has changed color. Yes, I'm left speechless myself. Isn't that neat? So here we've combined several things. We use the hue saturation controls to change the color and the saturation and the luminance. And then we added a mask so that only the top is affected, not her face. This is an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar looking at color tools inside Final Cut Pro 10. For the complete version of this online training, please visit our store at LarryJordan.com slash store and look for Webinar 278. By the way, when you need to stretch your training dollars, membership in our video training library saves you money and time. You can access all our videos for a low monthly price of only $19.99. That's more than 1,900 movies, hundreds of hours on a wide variety of subjects. Plus, premium members can download practice media, 
and projects. Our training covers Apple and Adobe software. We update it multiple times each month. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.com slash membership. And thanks.